Okay, Roger once again, Mud Fossil University. Before I start, I just want to make a slight apology for my attitude in this particular video because I've been pretty much assaulted on all my research because it goes against popular thinking. Now, having said that, I present evidence and the evidence is not being confronted. So, here's the evidence. We're going to be talking about photons and Einstein and my, th this is not a wave, it's a, it's a, spinning particle that's what white is it doesn't go it looks like a wave yeah okay i can go with a wave if you see it this way but the particle is the tip of it and it spins and when it hits there if it spins this way they fly out that way if it hits over this way it spins over this way they come out of here as negative particles in a spray and just force each other out and create these elegant little patterns and i show this in great detail all right so um, again i i don't mean any offense to anyone Okay, anybody that understands physics, or light, or energy, or Einstein, or Morley Michelson, or Planck's constant, any of that stuff, understands that Einstein's words were, light has no mass. It is a photon. It can be either a particle, or it can be a wave, but not both at the same time and it still has no mass and it's an electromagnetic wave that somehow gets to earth from the sun and it's, it's, it has no mass at all in between it's just literally nothing so there is nothing in space it's a vacuum all these things I can test but essentially it's energy equals mc squared and if energy equals mass meaning zero I don't care if you multiply it times infinity it's still going to be zero so that is not working and then you throw in oh you got to do this and add a little of that and just a couple of squiggly lines and this and that that's not going to help it's zero mass is nothing nothing is nothing nothing will ever be anything if it's nothing now, light has no mass. That's Albert Einstein. That means light has no energy. That's nonsense. Now, here's the reality. Light is electrons. They are thrown from their orbits just like they are from fires and from uh, flashlights and from any kind of a light source. It's an electron thrown from its orbital into space until it collides with something. When it does, its region that it owns, which is enormous, smashes into the region of the things that it is ba banging into and they glow. I cannot explain that. That is the interaction, that's what I see, and that's what happens. When they are in the vacuum of space, which is not really a vacuum, they are all in there. They just don't interact. So light is actually dark matter in transit. It's the dark energy, dark matter. And Now, I just want to say this. If you watch the video, my hope is to create plasma with protons, and which will lead to fusion. Now, the problem they have now is creating plasma is very very difficult and they have to use a tremendous amount of electricity and containment vessels and so forth this is a restriction and it's a venturi and it creates plasma out of electrons and I see no reason that the because these are particles and you can see actually see them that they are particles and and you'll see as we go forward through this but if these were protons the same thing only they're bigger and but they have a different charge of course but I believe they would still invade each other's regions and become embroiled in protons not nucleuses it's raw protons whatever's left over is going to be expelled but the, the normal is a 2 and a 3 of hydrogen makes a 4 of helium and leaves over 1. And in my world, that is electrons and is about 1,900 for every helium created. So this is what I would like to see at least tried. It could create fusion, a huge game, game changer in the world. By the way, I have the math on it. It's not a big deal. It's extremely simple. Here's what it is. Energy equals the rest mass rm times speed of the particle which is not set times the frequency that is spinning the angular momentum times df which is the density factor in other words what is it colliding into what's the density of it times gf which is the gravity factor means what gravity are we in are we in a positive Gravity? Are we in outer space? What's going on there? So, these are the things that, that, that do it. Now, nucleons are much different. This is, I'm talking about electrons. Okay, I have a bunch of videos on this if you're really interested. I'm going to go into a few details of how we 
did the research, you know, of the light experiments. They were just basic experiments. This is not real fancy stuff, but it has an extremely powerful and valid conclusion, and it is a, a valid device. So uh, in here I show all about, you know, I have now, using this, I figured out there's a new electron theory. It's a new new atomic flood theory, and uh, I think Einstein has no clothes. It's time to say that. Matter spins. Matter's in space. There is matter in space, and that matter is electrons, and it's things that spew out of all these different things that are in space. So there's, not, there's a lot of stuff that's in space, and that's what we're scrubbing through. So you can either stop now or watch the, the, the details, but this needs to be looked at, and, and I'm, I'm willing to, to work with anybody who wants to ask questions or, or, or contact me. Thank you.